Let's talk about the elephant in the room, money. Pesa ni nini? Iko wapi? Iko aje? Mbona iko? Nipe kiasi. This might be the most important episode in the course. You don't have to read a ton of books to become a smart investor. However, you must understand a few basic principles. Okay, here we go. The five simple rules. Start investing early. Leo, sahi. Even if it's just $1. There will never be a better time. Here's why. Compound interest. Let me explain why compound interest is the single most important concept you'll ever learn. Imagine you have a small snowball, then roll it downhill. Dogom dogo, that small ball of snow would pick up more and more and more snow, growing until it becomes a huge snowball. That's the simple concept of compound interest. It builds on itself. Or another way of putting it is that you get interest on the interest you get paid. Then you get paid some more interest on that interest and pretty soon the interest you've earned is way bigger than the money you put in there in the first place. Let's look at it another way. Imagine we have two sisters. One's 30 and one's 40 years old. They each start putting away $5,000 a year until the time they retire at 65. So, at retirement age, the 30-year-old has invested $175,000 and the 40-year-old $125,000. So, a $50,000 difference. It's a good amount, but it's nothing crazy. Now, how much does that 50k difference turn into over time due to compound interest? Close to a half a million dollars. Here ni pesa life changing to lose out on for only missing 10 years of investing. Buf kire your story. So what are you waiting for? Start investing today. But if you're like the older sister who didn't start investing early, don't panic. Remember to just control what you can and start today. You remember that story we told you about the octopus who outperformed all the experts? Well, if you're wondering if anything's changed since 10 minutes or 8 years ago, it hasn't. The moral of that story was, don't bet your retirement on picking stocks. Don't pay an expert to pick stocks for you. Instead, invest across the stock market as a whole. So how do you invest in the entire stock market? ETFs. These are exchange traded funds that track the entire stock market for you at extremely low prices, which brings us to our next rule. Choose your investment advisor wisely. Let's look at people who invest $1,000 a month for 30 years. The first pays 4% in fees, the next pays just 1%. A 3% difference might not sound like a lot, but it could translate to costing you around $200,000. Congratulations, you just bought your expensive investment advisor a house in Kileleshwa. Investing in stocks and bonds comes with risk, which is partly why it can be really lucrative. You probably heard that it's good to have a diversified portfolio. It's really just another way of saying don't put all your eggs in one basket. What would have happened if you invested 100% of your money in Blockbuster? <laughs> RIP. Small investors find ways to manage risk. One important tool they use is diversification. If you spread your investments or eggs across lots of different industries, green energy, pharmaceuticals, industrial, tech, in lots of different countries, you can protect yourself against the ups and downs of any one part of your portfolio. Here's a good way to think of it. This chart shows six different common indexes, US stocks, emerging markets, Canadian stocks, bonds, real estate, and international stocks and how they performed each year. Foreign stocks might not perform as well as emerging market stocks one year, or they might outperform them the next year. But when you invest in a wide range of indexes or diversify your portfolio, you help protect yourself against the year-to-year -year rises and falls. Remember, a smart investor focuses on what they can control. Here, that means diversify and stick to their long-term plan. That brings us to the final rule.
Emotion is the enemy of smart investing. Mm, okay. And when the market is up and down, it's easy to get emotional. The market is up, I made $72. The market is down, where's my damn $72? The world is ending, tell everything, so traumatic. But history has shown that trying to time the market usually leads to worse returns. Don't listen to tweets that tell you to buy or sell. Have the conviction to stick to your plan in both the best and worst of times. Investors who choose performance or run away from losses are doomed. The thing that differentiates good investors from bad investors is simply to drown out the noise and stick it out for the long run. Now, you might be saying the 2008 recession is hardly noise. Well, you're right. It had a huge impact on a lot of people's life savings and it affected the economy for years. But the people who panicked when the market hit bottom in 2008 and pulled out their investment accounts to cut their losses missed out on the next 10 years, which has produced some of the greatest returns in the history of the stock market. Point is, you can never know when a recession might hit, but smart investors stick to their plans and think long-term no matter what. Think long-term. And after learning these five simple rules, that's what you are, a smart investor.